to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. When it comes to exploits in the kingdom, please listen. The principal channel, listen to me please, the principal channel for receiving the miraculous is faith. The principal channel for participating in the miraculous is faith. Are we together now? And your faith is inactive until the word of God brings it alive. And so I want you to please pay attention. There are so many believers who expect God to step in and bring healing, miracles. I was so touched whilst the testimonies were being shared. And, um, but they're not surprised, only grateful. I would be surprised if I were the doer. Are we together? The integrity of God's word. The Bible has this to say. It says heaven and earth, listen, shall pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away. You know why they will pass away? Because the word created them both. Are we together? Heaven and earth shall pass away. But the word of the Lord abides forever. The principal channel for committing God to perform in your life is the word of God. Please listen. The principal channel for committing God is not your tears. Your tears move God, but they cannot commit him. Your lamentation can move God. The Bible says, for we do not have a high priest who has not been touched with the feelings of our infirmity. But being touched is not the same as responding to it. The only channel that can commit God's integrity to bring him to the scene to perform on your behalf is the word of God. I need you to understand this. Not a man of God. He may only be a vehicle. But the principal channel for committing God is the word of God. Whenever we talk about faith, it is simply the vehicle that gives the word of God expression. And I'll just charge us a little. It's important for us to know that the word of God can be trusted. The scripture that we read, this Bible, look up please. This Bible that we read, the Bible says it was inspired of the Holy Ghost. Are we together? Holy men wrote it as they were moved by the Spirit. So regardless of the imperfection of the translators, regardless of the imperfection of the writers, the sovereignty of God still vetoes their imperfection and makes this word capable of producing results. When believed and acted upon. Are we together? Your faith. Every time in scripture, Jesus would challenge the faith of the recipients. Jesus never told anyone, you have asked a hard thing. It was Elijah who told his son in the gospel, you have asked a hard thing. It is possible. But Jesus will only ask them, believers thou, thy faith has given this to you. Let me give you a very interesting definition of faith that I got from Bishop Oedipo. Uh, this, this is one of his most recent definitions and it is absolutely powerful. This is what he said. Faith is sharing responsibilities with God in the light of his word so as to get your desired result. Faith is sharing responsibilities with God as defined or in the light of his word. 
so as to get your desired result shared responsibility shared responsibility there is a part to your miracle listen please that depends on god that is exclusively left to his wisdom and power and sovereignty but there is a part to the delivery and the manifestation of your miracle that depends on an operation you must do so many believers want to receive from god listen please we come to god but we approach god as though approaching an idol hoping that he will perform some magic no there are spiritual dynamics to reception your faith your faith your faith your faith we have a series on that and we're going to start that series next week i'm going to be sharing with you some deep dynamics about faith because it's important for us to get results results are predictable say it after me one more time results are predictable there is there is a there is a technology there is a system of predictability to results that's why we are gathered here tonight we are not gathered to some kind of haphazard trial and error i know you will be blessed i know you will be healed it's not pride it's the truth there is a formula for this i know your life will change i know that demon will live your life forever I know you will walk out of here with breakthrough that will bring tears to your eyes but there is a system there is a system please brothers and sisters imagine imagine for one minute that you go to the hospital listen you go to the hospital with your pregnant wife about to give birth and the doctor tells you that look this name doctor is just there oh, let me just confess i'm not exactly sure let's trust god and see what will happen and your wife is crying and saying i'm losing my life how would you love such a doctor and you ask him who gave you that title that you put in front of your name because the title is an implication hmm. are we together the title is an implication the title means you were certified the title means you went through rigorous seasons that trained your mind to be intelligent on that wise now that's when when god names a meeting is an implication if he calls it a miracle service it means he sat down and searched within himself if he had the power to back up that name God never speaks until he looks at himself and finds out whether it is within his ability to back up what he has said. If he called it a miracle service, then that is a miracle service indeed. It has never been about the inability of God to step into people's lives. Please listen. There is no case represented here today that is above and beyond the power of God to step in. No, you would be lying. Are we together you know sometimes the mountains that stand before us and trust me i'm human there are mountains that can stand before people but you see that mountain remains only as big as your inability to trust god makes it look there are mountains it says time will fail me to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms not cities kingdoms so the foundation the foundation please listen the foundation for biblical faith is an encounter with the word of god you must find out what he has said about the issue of concern that is step one to commit him more on that during the faith series but it is important you have no right to lay any claims on anything you have not searched out because god limits himself to the provisions that his word can afford hear me whatever the word of god can afford god can provide it did you hear me whatever the word of god can afford 
God can pay for it. Whatever the word of God can afford, it is within the sovereign power of God to pay for it. Your first assignment is to find out. I've been barren for eight years. They said I have no fallopian tube. Thank you doctors, but they are practicing. And you come to the word of God and check and then the Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing it says your children not even a child surround your table now the next thing is whose report will you believe are we together the trouble is we do not meditate on the word to a point of restful persuasion restful persuasion but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded. You don't read the Bible like a novel. No, the entrance of your word. Eventually, as you pay attention to the word, let me tell you, I know what I'm saying. Believe me. When you study scripture with all your heart, an activity of the Holy Ghost begins to happen from those letters through your eyes into your spirit from those letters through your eyes through your ears into your spirit it says so then faith comes by hearing and understanding by the word of god it's not just hearing it's not just seeing when you discover the promises the prophecies the provision your next assignment is to meditate upon the word to get to a point of restful persuasion persuasion that says if i perish i perish but i found it i found my bailout i found it oh they say i must uh, this and that and that and that i cannot have a child i've tried i've been having miscarriages oh men of god have prayed for me they are not herbalist get to the word Get to the word. Father, this is your word. I commit you. Prophet Isaiah in chapter 38, moved by the Holy Ghost, went to Hezekiah and said, put your house in order. You will not recover from this sickness. Isaiah was a major prophet. When a major man of God with a track record speaks to you, it's almost like a done deal. But a man used the word of God to change prophecy. Ah, the words you speak turn things help me that the word of god can veto any prophecy any enchantment any pronouncement yes they said it but i change it yes they said everybody in my family is ss but i found a provision there is a bailout mystery i can't die as i can't die ss it is within my power to change it let me tell you there is nobody that prophesies a nonsense destiny to me i have worked with god enough to know that the keys are in the hands of a man hezekiah turned his face and said oh god remember my sacrifices is it not your word that 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 says how that they that give you no know, paraphrasing that he will remember you in the day of trouble and remember your sacrifice i have given to your house why should i die like a chicken no assumption you must bring your strong reasons no assumption you assume you will die like a chicken you must bring your your strong reason don't say even god knows as i hear you say as i hear you say many believers want things to happen let me tell you something faith is hard work are you hearing what i'm saying You've got to find it and sit down until the word of God superimposes your doubt. I know there is a rent of 500,000 to pay. The rent is not in the spirit. The landlord is alive. I know. I know statistics says 
that there are no jobs in Nigeria. I know there is recession in Nigeria. But when you find it in the word. Now listen. When you find it in the word. And meditate. Let me tell you what meditation does. Here's how you know you are finished meditating. You are finished meditating the moment you discover your role. When you discover the part you have to play. You have finished your meditation. You meditate until you find it. Good master. What shall I do to inherit eternal life? Not will you give me. What is my part? Good master. What is my part? Lord, what is my part to be healed? Oh God, will you heal me? That's wrong prayer. That's immature spiritual communication. What is my role? It is within your power. Good master. What shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus didn't say, no, 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 no. Eternal life is cheap. No. As cheap as salvation is, there is still a role you have to play. Are we together? It says the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in thy mouth. Even the word of faith which we preach, right? That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. Romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10. He says, and believe with thy heart that God raised him from the dead. He said, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart, it says, man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto soteria, salvation. Not just new birth, unto health, unto everything. Hallelujah. Your meditation has not finished. If you cannot leave that place knowing you're part of the deal. There must be your commitment. Oh Lord, what is the secret to end circles of failure? It's like as soon as I'm recovering from one, I'm finding another. And then you search in God's word. Who suffered like me? What is the key? Lord, nothing is working in my life. No job, no marriage, no money, no peace. What should I do? Oh, there are enemies in my life. How do I deal with them? I've prayed. And then the Holy Ghost takes you to Psalms 149. Let the high praise of God be in their lips. And a double-edged sword in their hands. To execute vengeance upon their nobles and to bind their kings with the fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment that is written. It says this honor has all the saints. Ah, so my praise is a weapon of warfare. This is my own part. You shut your door. And you begin to praise God like a madman. And when you praise God like a madman, all of a sudden, you put pressure on his integrity the moment you act. Let me tell you, God is not committed to delivering any promise in your life if you have not acted upon it. Having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete. Praise the Lord. So what is your part tonight? Number one, your part is to believe God. Your part is to believe God. Don't allow science, medicine, the intellect to bring you to a point where you now start calculating and say, okay, now let's be real. I know that I have a fibroid. I touched it and I felt it. Is it really going to disappear? And you now begin to think. The question you have to think is, how did it come? Were you born with it? Did you swallow it and it went there? So how did it come? You never question how it grew to be that big. But now you are questioning how it will, be shrink, how it will shrink and disappear. We have been trained in an environment that stimulates unbelief. You mean I can complete that house by the end of the year? Haba, this is October. We've not even gotten to lintel level. The last person who would have blessed me just said, Guy, Nigeria is hot. Hot for who? Don't, don't generalize this thing. Let's be sincere enough. Persuasion. I believe God. Oh. I believe God. That's why we're ministering. Listen, when you find what God has said, commit him. Throw away your ego. Throw away your fears and commit God. The Bible says, listen, listen to what it says. 
it says in my name they shall cast out devils that's what we are going to do shortly he said it we believe it and so we have the effrontery to gather you and to release a platform for the world to listen and we give them an assurance based on what based on his integrity that's why we have a worship team what's the assignment to create the atmosphere for his presence to make manifest because when his presence is here then we know that we have committed him brothers and sisters i want you to come to a point of restful assurance throw away that doubt you know some of you hear what i'm saying and most people when they hear preachers talking like this they look at their dressing they look at everything and say it's not your fault it's because you are enjoying as if the person was born like that apostle is because you don't know the fire that drove me from home to come here believe me i don't care what it is if god cannot solve your problem then we have found a reason for him to not be god but i believe god previous miracle services it did not happen another word for faith is persistence another word for faith is persistence you will never never stop persisting and claim you have faith no sir elijah prayed and asked his servant go and check he said there's nothing he would have said ah god i called down fire once what is this one is it that i'm backsliding he didn't even have time to ask that question restful assurance he went back to pray seven times and he saw the cloud like the feast of a man and he told ahab he said saddle your ass and run i hear the sound of the abundance of rain there are people here tonight trusting god for miracles in your body there are people here who do not even know what is wrong with their situation you are welcome who else will you run to let me just say something when i was when i was meditating and preparing this little exhortation the lord said the following things to me and i just want us to write it down just three of them quickly number one your action commits my integrity your action not your conviction your action your action at the point of action that's when my integrity is committed so you can believe and not see results faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction faith is not the conviction the conviction leads to faith faith is the action are we together yeah so i look at pastor femi for instance come femi i look at pastor femi for instance and let's assume he's trusting god to heal him maybe of chest pain look at this now he comes out and hands are laid on him and he just looks and he's angry at the next person because he's saying you did allow them lay hands very well it's not the it's not how much hands are laid on you you see somehow we have this understanding you can say i have chest pain and just a touch and then they go and, and you are wondering ah, ah. you would have stayed and touched and gone around and done this now your mind thinks because time is being spent on you it means god is saying something no no the miracle listen the miracle is in your faith it happens at the speed of faith it happens at the speed of faith this guy can have all kinds of tumors and just a touch in fact sometimes it may not even be a touch just your faith like there are people now already who are healed they don't know it's just because you can't go to the hospital it says and as they spake as peter spake these words unto them the holy ghost fell on all day that had him thank you thank you very much are we together it's your faith don't come here and be careless and just sit down no assuming there's somebody you brought here for instance who was who is deaf maybe on one ear or both ears and now it's time to pray and as we are praying and you're just standing you're watching the person oh in the name of jesus if there's any dead person here be healed and you look at him 
and you are wondering, ah, this guy, let me concentrate on myself. That guy will never be healed. He's going to go out like that. Because number one, you are embarrassed to take an action step because you don't want to put your hands in his ears and inform him and say, they are about to pray, I'll check you. Your ego is telling you, guy, don't do this. If you put your hands on his ears and you pray and you check him, if it doesn't happen, you will turn with your shame and hold him there. That's exactly why the person will walk back and not be healed. Are we together? They mention a, a case and it looks like an embarrassing case. You've been healed. Go and check yourself and you're wondering. You are sitting down there and wasting your time. And then you run later after service and you come and say, Jimmy, sorry, oh, don't be embarrassed. Do you know that when you were mentioning somebody with pile, it's me, oh, I, I, you saw me, Abby? Just quickly pray for me. You are joking because you see, the result is waiting for action immediately. Please, get this thing. The Lord told me this that I should tell us. Your action commits my integrity. As they went, he said, go and show yourself to the priest. As they went, as they went, as they went. The woman said to herself with the issue of blood, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, do you know if she just stopped there talking with herself, she would have gone back home with her issue of blood. But then after speaking, she still pressed. At the point she did it, there was a miracle. Number two, this is the second thing God told me. And I don't want to believe this applies to koinonia. Let me be wrong at least. But I don't want to believe this applies to koinonia. But I believe this applies to other people. This is what God told me. Stop mixing God and any other God like traditional gods, native doctors. That's why I say I don't believe this applies to koinonia. But I think that this is the unbecoming of the church in Africa. On Sunday you are with God. Are we together? On Monday or Tuesday. You now quickly run to your village and they tell you there's somebody. The guy is not exactly a herbalist. He's not exactly a pastor. He just has this gift. You cannot mix. Let me tell you something God has said. Give us Psalm 16. Psalm 16 verse 4. Give us verse 4. Psalm 16 verse 4. I want you to read the A part. One to read. Their sorrows shall be multiplied. That do what? That hasten after another God. That's what I was looking for. What will happen to them? Their sorrow. It will look, let me tell you, please hear me. I've never gone to a herbalist, but I've ministered to plenty of people who have gone to them. You will never get a sustainable result from a herbalist. But it's my father that said we should go as a family. Well, I know that there is a limit to which you can control that. But I'm telling you, you can insist and refuse. The Bible says there are sorrows. I know what I'm saying. In Africa, many people will say, oh, these people, they are just young people. They don't know what they are saying. The Bible says their sorrows shall be multiplied. That do what? That hasten after another God. So you have something he tells you to put in your pocket before you sleep. I don't care whether they ask you to read Psalm 1 or read Psalm 100. For as long as there is a genie and a charm in your pocket and you put all kinds of things and you have to get up, do something demonic, the man is telling you, go and buy a goat. Are we together? You buy a goat, they slaughter it, they turn the blood and they say it's done. Just be praying. Just because he said just be praying does not mean it was of God. Amen. I have discovered, let me tell you something. I have discovered that most people run to God as a last resort. You go to a doctor. If a doctor does not work, then maybe you go to a few men of God here and there. After they all jump and gyrate and nothing happens, somebody will just tell you, sorry, I wanted to advise you, but... You know, I don't want you to think I'm a bad person. But if you are serious, I can take you somewhere. You see yourself going to Zaria City. I said, don't be afraid though. That's how the man's face is. That, run away. Run. 
is how it is. You go there, the, before any discussion, you are dropping consultancy fee. You know, I've told you here, Koinonia, hear me. Money and miracles don't go hand in hand. Bring money, let me pray for you. You can sow a seed expecting a miracle. You can be challenged to commit yourself. But where somebody says, the price for this pregnancy is 25,000. And I'm just doing it for you and your wife. If you ever get pregnant, it was the mercy of God. Remember when the gentleman saw the apostle with the power to lay hands on the sick and he offered money. What did he tell him? He said, your money perish with you for you think you will buy the gift of God. It's not for sale. It's priceless. So stop mixing God and witch doctors. You cannot mix God and witch doctor. Are we together? If you depend on God, depend on him. If you depend on a herbalist, depend on him. But don't mix them. You know, one time I was counseling a very dear, a dear lady who, now this is by no means being sarcastic on any family. But I was counseling a lady who told me that she went somewhere and they gave her razor to eat. Razor. And to her shock, it didn't injure her. Razor, like sharp razor, you bring out gillette, razor, and now open your mouth, throw it in. She was scared to death, but I tell you, she broke that thing, finished it, and swallowed it. No sign of blood. They are mediums, right? They are mediums. I can guarantee you that lady's life will never be the same from that day. Now, the challenge with these kind of people is they just come and say, ah, now I will never be involved in those kind of things again. Lord, my hands are washed. They think that's all to it. They think they are free. So somebody says, I want to get married to you. Two weeks, he says, I don't know what is wrong, but the day I said I'll get married to you, somebody warned me and said, if I catch you near my wife again. So the person gets up and says, I don't want trouble. And before you know it, the lady is 40, 41, no marriage. She loves God. She's serious. Are we together now? But she believes that everything is all. No, it's not just like that. Though. That's why God puts meetings like this to set people free. I don't know what your challenge is tonight. But I want you to know that the God of all flesh is in this place. Tonight will be a night the Lord spoke to me and I said it to us that it will be a night of massive freedom and deliverance. There are, there are people, honestly, who are going to stay on this thing and force some spirits to get out of the lives of people. I learned early in life that spirits are behind the sufferings of people. Never confuse physical conditions with the influences of spirits. They may manifest as different things. But I give you a guarantee there are spirits behind them. You are not just being hated for nothing. You are only one out of seven billion people. What makes people hate you? Everywhere you go, they hate you. There is a spirit. It says, for as a body without a spirit is dead. There must be a spiritual cause for that physical problem. And tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever will not let you go must leave you. There are people carrying all kinds of plagues of bad luck and disfavor. Hear me as I'm speaking to you. Do you know it's not everybody you see suffering that is lazy or bad or unserious. There are well-meaning people. But these powers just sit on your destiny and say we will not go. Because it does not take discussion. It takes the power of God to put them where they belong. Are we together? There are some of us who have never experienced the favor of God. You have had it in the lives of people. You have clapped for other people, but you've not seen it in your life. If your uncle or your father or your mother is not there to help you, you think you are finished. Because in your mind, every time you are praying and say, God, visit me, what you mean is, please, oh God, help Ejimi to be the one to visit me. 
but when that favor is on your life and those demons clear off the way you'll be surprised here people saying three jobs three jobs waiting for someone at this time now the question i want to ask you before we pray is you came with a challenge but do you believe do you believe that god can give you a testimony that's my first question no 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 no. don't answer me do you believe please don't 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 just assume you know what i'm saying i'm speaking from my heart you're seated outside you're seated in the overflow you are following online maybe in another nation or in another place do you believe that god can step in that's number one number two do you believe that god can step in now it's one thing to believe god will step in but do you believe god can step in now or are you saying oh god my eyes cannot see well but even if it's one that starts seeing i'm grateful you see it looks like his faith but it's not faith it's just an advanced form of unbelief lord i hold on to you i don't know what you will do with me tonight but i believe you and every instruction that comes i believe are we together when prayers when we're about to pray and we tell you every spirit that is disturbing anybody you don't just stand and, and you are waiting for somebody to be shouting and falling or you are waiting for yourself to fall no your heart is open you are praying time to release your prayer request you don't just tell the ushers let me drop my own and you drop it as if it's no you are dropping it and waving it goodbye and saying i dropped it because you will never return to me listen there is an attitude the miracle is in the attitude not just in the act the attitude lord as i drop this request i wave you goodbye i cannot drop it and write it again next year next 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 month are we together you are coming here trusting god for an impartation and an anointing you don't sit down carelessly you are listening carefully as the word of god is coming your spirit is open and that you believe that by the time the grace is shared i'm walking out of here a different person are we together you came here sick oh god this sickness i've been praying about it but today let me tell you do you know you can decide the day of your miracle the woman with the issue of blood said today jacob held on to the angel right and said i won't let you go he would have let him go and say okay the next time you come just inform me you can make it today when i was praying for this meeting i said god i have one request please let everyone that comes here believing return with a testimony that was my prayer for you i've done my own part and the grace the grace to produce the miracle you need by the grace of God is available. The mercy of God is here to help you. Your part is to believe God enough and respond in faith. Are we together? Every part of the meeting, God is going to do a quick work right now. But I want you to believe. Please be tired of where you are. Oh God, from January till now, I've not moved forward. I have to be sincere with myself. Give me an encounter that by now, between now and October miracle service, let me return with tears of joy in my eyes. There are two kinds of tears a man can cry. Tears of sorrow and tears of joy. It says you have turned my mourning into dancing. Everything I'm telling you to do is what I'm doing myself. Don't think I just came here empty handed. I came here with my heart full of expectation. I mentioned my own request before God and cried my heart to him. So I, I'm only a vessel, but I'm also a benefactor. Because by and large, I will still listen to this message and I will receive every prophetic word. The trouble with us is you may think I'm a worker. Oh, I'm, I'm protocol, I'm media, I am a minister, I am this and not receive. You see how the leaders in this house, whenever they are here, they forget about anything and everybody's heart is open. That's, that's the attitude. Are we together? Don't sit down arguing and say, Madam, how are you? How do you feel? That's not your business. Focus on what God is doing and insist. insist. 
the devil in these kinds of meetings hear me satan waits strategically for those whose hearts will not listen to the word they are the kinds who will go back and their situations will be worse than it is because you see when these demons and these spirits leave they have to search for a life for continuity and you can't stand neutral there are others who come here there are probably people sitting inside and outside you were invited but your heart is already here cynical will god really bless them all these men of god serve and all this their nonsense talk you see that kind of attitude will not give you a miracle don't come to god passively you must come to him intentionally are we together how many of us are ready to walk out of here with a real miracle how many of us believe there is a place in the word of god for your case you believe your case is not new there is a place for the word of god how many of you believe that it is within the power of god to wipe your tears and give you a testimony and how many of you are ready to place a demand by faith please jump up on your feet and begin to pray rise up on your feet and begin to pray lord i place a demand lord i place a demand lord i place a demand whether you are inside outside i place a demand online i place a demand on your integrity i place a demand on your favor i place a demand on your wisdom i place a demand are you praying Lord, I've been doing ministry with no anointing. I've been struggling in ministry. But I place a demand that I will encounter something, an unction, a grace that will change my life. Lord, my business has refused to grow. Everything I've tried to do is not working. But tonight, I place a demand. Lord, I'm tired of this genotype issue. I'm tired of this genotype issue. Lord, I'm tired of this barrenness issue. I'm tired of high blood pressure. I'm tired of pile. I'm tired of eye problem. I'm tired of using crutches. I'm tired of poverty. Living from hand to mouth. I'm tired of failure, tired of defeat. Change my story. Change my story. Change my story. Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. I want you to take two minutes. You are going to cry for your family and say, Lord, as I stand here, I represent an altar. It's not just me alone. The angel of your presence must enter my house tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Oh God of heaven, step into my family. Step into my family. End that cause. And that bondage, the plague of death in my family, bring it to an end. The plague of hardship, nobody has a job in my family. End it, oh God. Nobody is gainfully employed. Nobody is born again aside from me. Step in, oh God. Step in, oh God. Nobody is making progress. People are just getting old. Nothing is moving. Change my story. The words you speak complete around your house. Pray, pray, pray. Of me. 
Listen, the last prayer point. He said, give us this day. This day, not tomorrow. Lord, give me this day breakthrough. Give me this day promotion. Mention everything you want. And say, Lord, today, my faith is for today. If your faith says yes, God will not say no. If your faith says yes, God will not say no. Lift your voice and cry. Give me this day healing for my body. Give me this day a new anointing. Give me this day an encounter with the spirit of wisdom. Give me this day directions for the next level of my life. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is giving me one more prayer point. Don't be tired of praying. Prayer helps you release your faith. Listen. Hold on, please. Listen. Amen. Listen. I want you to pray with all your heart. I told you there are spirits behind every situation. Hear me. I want you to pray in one minute that any spirit behind your seat, leave the situation alone. Don't worry. Don't mention, leave the headache. Leave what? That the spirit behind it. I like you to pray and declare that as God's prophetic word comes from here, that spirit is under arrest is on fire and it must leave. Hey. Lift your voice and pray. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit behind it. Leave the case. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit. The spirit behind failure. The spirit behind delay. Hallelujah. The devil is in trouble tonight. Rise up, everybody. Rise up, everybody. I tell you, I'm angry, my spirit. Rise up, everybody. We have to pray. Somebody has got to walk out with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place. Bring them out. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. It must be over today. 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 It must be over. There is enough grace, brothers and sisters, to step into your situation. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands, everyone. 
there is authority in this place not just power there is a difference between power and authority there is authority in this place the spirit of the lord is upon me sabarato kapari kete basala bakari adabadada the lord is asking me to pray in tongues for two minutes hear me and while i pray in tongues me while i pray in tongues i want you to bring all those under the anointing that's what the lord is asking me to do father let your word go forth i put the word of god on my prayer Shebarete seda da da bakata, lekete prekete bash, dakarete tesh, dakarete tesh, dakarete tesh. Shabarada ba, inside outside, lekete prekete bash. The word of God is upon this prayer. Rete kete 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 kete, eke te kete, lekete prapata shabarada malada bash. Barakata praskata barata. Break Break it, are tongues of fire. They are tongues of fire. In those paper tanka to show them again. They go to second to the second. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. You must be free. You must be free. You must be free. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. Right now, in the name of Jesus every spirit every covenant every altar standing on your way to the next level in the name of jesus right now i command them to leave you 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 now. Every spirit holding your destiny. Every spirit holding your destiny. Every spirit holding your destiny. Leave them now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hand. At the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus. I'm seeing a sword in the spirit. And on that sword, I see something like a chain. And on the chain is written stagnation. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. You may not even know this affects you. At the count of three, as you shout, Jesus, many of you will be surprised what will happen to you. Inside, outside, online. Let that spirit that has changed your destiny in one place as you shout jesus i command it to leave are you ready now one two three i command stagnation go now go now go now go now, go now. stagnation by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Stagnation leaves your destiny. Stagnation leaves your life. Eparapata. Eketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketekete
you have dreams and in those dreams you see things holding you sometimes you see chain the lord is asking me to release you wherever you are right now i stretch my hands i set you free i set you free i set you free i set you free hallelujah we are still praying they must let you go Parato soto barikete. ladies lift your hands sisters lift your hands i want to pray for you from my heart something is about to leave you now sisters lift your hands every covenant that anyone is under here please hear me knowingly or knowingly that has tied any lady's destiny right now ta, 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 ta. in the name of jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you and burn that covenant to ashes any ungodly alliance any covenant that has tied your destiny are you ready now ladies one two three shout jesus be free be free be free be free be free, be free. inside and outside i break it i break it i break it I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I saw something fly above. And the Lord said, it's the spirit of death. The plague of death. There are families here. Every year, someone must die every akabatike telepa every year somebody must die there are families here every season somebody must be sick i want to end circles death does not just mean cessation from living circles of repetition lift your hands everybody this one will affect a lot of people please open your heart hear me many of you may not have observed that there are circles of repetition that happen in families circles of repetition lift your hands the ministry of angels at the count of three with all your heart i want you to shout jesus and watch what happens to you some of you as you shout jesus you will have an open vision literally and you will see things that have happened in your family and god will bring you a word of deliverance are you ready now at the count of three father back up your word one two three spirit of death i arrest you i arrest you i arrest you i arrest you circles of death circles of death I arrest you. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Cancel everything. Challenge every spirit. 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 Go, go, go. Challenge every spirit. Challenge every spirit. Challenge every spirit. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to be fast. But I'm going to walk around. There is a reason why I walk around. Listen. 
you don't have to touch me but let me tell you as surely as the god of heaven is in this place when i come close to you if there is any spirit that is holding your destiny it must leave you believe me believe me there is an anointing you don't have to make the place rowdy i'm going to walk through this road i will come back here and i will go outside let's see how much we can do that very fast please let your heart be open you don't have to touch me i'm telling you that any spirit any spirit i stretch my hands here any spirit any spirit any spirit any spirit any spirit you when there is any spirit that fire right now right now right now right now right now every spirit 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 right now you must go 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 right now right now every spirit Hide down anyone You must go.
lift your hands those of you outside sorry about the sound i'm about to walk here listen you don't have to touch me i assure you by the god of heaven by the anointing of the holy ghost right now right now be free i'm passing your role the anointing is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you be free now be free now as i pass you god is touching you god is touching you god is touching you hallelujah now there's someone here hold on please hold on please there is someone in this vicinity you had a dream three days ago and you saw me praying for you three days ago exactly three days ago who is that person came here the spirit of the lord told me to pray for the person please who is that person let's pray and then the sec don't don't come here please if you are not the person the second person i want to pray for there is someone here you've been having severe abdominal pain right here right here you are a lady this pain has been too much right here please who is that person i want to pray for you right now you're the okay stand here i want to pray for you right now you came for a miracle service lift your hands i use them as a point of contact to pray for everybody here anyone here with any strange pain ah look at i look at this lady and i see a spirit go in the name of jesus christ i command that pain to leave right now go right now in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me someone i don't know what it is about this role but there is someone your family has gone through repeated cycles of losses this is financial losses for a while i don't need to bring you god is going to bring you out right now lord whoever that person is right now that's the person i'm talking about a miracle comes for you a miracle comes for you i'm seeing a lady here looks like a small girl you see spirits in the night this is like witches this is what i'm seeing the lord is bringing deliverance for that person right now right now in the name of the lord jesus christ the lord is bringing a miracle for that person right now right now right now who is by the name john there's someone outside here ministering to those outside by the name john 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 who is john please are you john your name is john ah there's another john you are wearing nigerian shirt john you are wearing nigerian shirt is there someone like that? Do I know you? Stand here. I need to pray for you. Because I'm seeing something on your head like madness. Can we have this? Okay, thank you. Those outside, listen. In the realm of the spirit, whether you are inside or outside, believe me when I tell you this, it makes no difference. The only thing we have to lose, you can see I'm talking outside, but still touching people inside. That's the same way I can be inside touching you don't don't think because you are standing far you have a disadvantage of sound but that's the only disadvantage it's not a disadvantage to your spirit are we together look at me where are you coming from from quara state quara state for this meeting no i'm a student in ABU. oh you are a student in ABU. I'm, i have to pray for you i'm seeing somebody reading and all of a sudden he starts talking like a madman just from academics and this thing i'm seeing is witchcraft i hear what i'm saying I, don't be afraid i'm not a prophet of doom i'm going to pray for you i don't know who is trying to protect anything while you are studying here but in the name of the god of heaven please hear me because while you are studying somebody else is hoping you don't pass but i lay my hands on this gentleman i use him as a point of contact to anyone here whoever has planned anything against you it returns back to them in the name of jesus christ all of you in this overflow this very one please lift your hand sorry again about the sound but i want you don't mind just lift your hands the lord is telling me in seven days please hear me there are five people here in this room in seven days god is going to give their families dramatic breakthrough listen i will not touch you the power of god will locate them right now one that's one five of them in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ
you don't have to bring them out seven days i stand under this prophetic and apostolic voice and i declare miracles 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 bring this little girl for me bring this little girl for me come sweetheart let her not fall here hug me come the lord is saying i don't know what family this girl comes from but the lord is saying he's giving that family favor right now favor for this girl's family favor for this girl's family favor for this girl's family i'm seeing a final year student here you've written your exams you thought you've graduated but i'm looking now and i'm seeing two courses and the lord is saying we should change it i don't know who that person is here this i stand in the name of jesus the son of the living god and i prophesy as the lord has spoken to me we change it now we change it now help them we change it now I want you to believe everything God is doing here. Believe everything God is doing. I'm looking at a family of seven people, no marriage. And God is saying, arrest that spirit. I'm seeing another family of four ladies, no marriage. I don't care who. Wait, you don't have to come. Father, I pray. I'm standing here. It doesn't matter where I stand. I'm speaking to everybody. Right now, in the next one minute all those whose family has been tied down maritally fire is coming upon those spirits right now right now right now in the name of jesus be free be free be free completely free be completely free be completely free the lord is showing me something i'm looking at this woman and i am seeing your children i know she may not i i, I don't know if she understands him or not but I'm looking at her and the Lord is saying I should wait with her. When it's time to go in, I should carry her and meet her two children inside. That's what God is telling me. That I should carry her. Someone ask her. Uh, Evelyn. 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 And who? Okay, they are inside. Evelyn and Mercy. Hold on. Because I looked at this woman and the Lord is saying he wants to visit the woman. And then the Lord told me that two of her children are inside. That when I'm going in, I should hold her and take her inside and minister to that family. I use this woman as a point of contact. You keep hearing me pray and repeating myself. It's because there are spirits that don't want to let people go. They must go tonight. Gentlemen, look at me. Look at me. Tap guy. It's your season of breakthrough. I know that you hear a word like this and think I'm joking until you hear the testimony. It's your season of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mommy, let me talk to you. Please come. The Lord is saying I should tell you. You hear Hausa, ma? You can speak English. No, no. I need to tell you what I'm saying in Hausa. Yes. That he's going to wipe you. In such a way that you will forget the pain of the past. I don't know who you came with. But I'm prophesying to you. Mama go and write it. This thing will happen. You will come back with a testimony. See. When a prophetic word comes on you. I want you to know that the end has come. There, there are thousands of people here. If God locates you. Don't, don't sit down. You are doubting. Is it really God? No, 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 no. Mama. For your children. Where are they? come did you tell me because uh -uh. mama let me talk to you i'm prophesying i need to pray for this person because i am seeing god doing a miracle for him this gentleman huh where is he abuja. he's in abuja yes. what's he doing he's working for somebody and they are not even mama let me talk to you that's why i'm talking to you you see this person go and tell him by november a job is coming for him I will not stand in the open. You are in Zaria here. So it's not like somebody, they ship somebody to come and stage manage. I'm saying it in the open. Go and tell him. My brother, I want to pray for you. There's delay in life. Come and stand here. Someone will look at you and think everything is all right. But if I don't pray for you, a time will come, you will be really frustrated. 
There's a photographer here that things are not working for. Where are you? God wants to change your story. I don't know if you're a photographer or something. Please, you see, I told us let's cooperate. I want us to finish very fast. There is a photographer here. I'm not guessing. You are here. Things are grounded. Who are you? Make sure you are not lying. Not country. You photographer business. Huh? Somewhere at Northgate. At Northgate. And nothing is happening. Do you love God? I have to pray for you. Because I'm looking at somebody who stood. You had a quarrel with somebody over snapshot. And the lady cost you. This is what I'm seeing. That lady you see. Uh, well, I'm not. I, I, it's not like I'm indicting people. But that lady you see. It's not everybody you see that is a normal human being. That lady cost you from that day. Things will dry up. You have. It's, it's not like you are careless. But if it takes a person to speak a word of a curse. It takes a higher anointing to help you. Hold my hands. Return back to your glory. I prophesy to you right now. In the name of Jesus. My brother, let me pray for you. Jesus is truly answer. You see, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, you can be suffering for decades, but when God decides to step in, that's the end of it. He just helps you. Praise the Lord. When he steps in, I'm hearing Joss. Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. The Lord wants to give that person a miracle. You came from Joss. Please, if that person is here, let me. Who? Ah, this is Mama again. We've prayed for Mama now. Oh, from Joss. I'm going to pray. Ah, ah, no, now. I will pray for her, but. No, I'm not saying your state of origin. You came from there. Not that. You came from, I know Sarah, I'll pray for you, but there's somebody else I'm seeing. Who is that? Sir, you're welcome. You came from Joe, sir. Are you a family? You two, you came. Daddy, sir, you came from Joss. Where in Joss? I'm with the University of Joss. You're with the University of Joss. I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who has been cheated. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Sir, you came all the way from Joss, University of Joss. You're a lecturer? You're a lecturer with University of Joss. Why am I seeing you not promoted? Well, I changed from I was changed to the university. The system is not I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray for you because the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that he's stepping into your life and he's giving you a miracle. waste your time sir ah, i'm seeing you writing like i don't know if it's a this is like um uh, like a publication this is what i'm seeing this is a publication and a prof a prof is going to help you and god is going to honor you with that publication no there are many publications to write but you will return back this will happen like a dream the way god is going to wipe your tears praise the lord yes please Came here. Don't worry, Daddy. I'm going to pray for you. We've not prayed for the sick yet. Are, are, we, are we together? I'm going to pray. When it's time to pray for the sick, I'll lay hands on you. Yes, sir. I'm seeing there's a corruption in your blood, and God has to cleanse you completely. Yes, so that you will not die. Don't be afraid of death and be thinking I will die and leave my family. Ah, uh ah. -uh. God is life. He's the same God who was there for you. Hallelujah. Sir, just this prophetic word for you that God is going to lift you. I'll come back to you when I'm praying for the sick. We're going to pray for the sick now. My dear, hold my hands. I'm seeing you climb a ladder, Sarah, and the Lord is saying it's time for you to stay on that ladder. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. And the Lord is saying, let her climb and not come down. Therefore, I lay my hands on you and I prophesy that it's a new season. In the name of Jesus. There are two ladies inside the main auditorium. 
the power of God is coming upon them right now the power of God is coming upon them right now they are inside the Holy Ghost is a is a is like a volcano it's like an anointing two of them inside the Spirit of the Lord is coming upon them heavily this is breakthrough that God is bringing sir you wanted to talk to me don't worry you don't have to tell me what the issue is you understand if we say that you see we will not be able to attend to other people and it will not be fair do we all agree so i must not mention your case just believe me please have the faith that god is going to touch you i came out like this to encourage us so that you don't feel i am there it doesn't matter where you stand just for coming to this ground alone the power of god is there to touch you Augusta, come let me for you this in you come I have to pray for you. I'm seeing the spirit of death. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Who brought this guy? Can I, Gina? Can you hear me? I have to pray for you. This is the spirit of death on you. And the Lord is saying I should set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. And I command that spirit of death to leave you and go forever. In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus father I lay my hands on this gentleman be free right now in the name of Jesus hold my hands darling I, I is it your sister why are you here you came from Joss too where in Joss to the water shout Jesus as loud as you can Ebezina Chukunos. Where is the mama that was here? Uh uh, there was another woman who was standing here. Please bring her. Be careful with this, our elderly ones, please. Come, let's walk here. Lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Who is this? Who brought him? What's the situation? The Father is inside. We are going to pray for the sick now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm seeing charm against a family. And the Lord is saying, let it end now. I don't know where that family is. That charm, that charm. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. hallelujah mama where are your children where are the children of this woman the lord gave me a word for them you should have been ready now are they here please so that we move to the next thing i want us to finish here on time i want us to finish here on time are they here Where is her sister? Under the anointing. Hold on. Please, I'll just minister to her. We don't have time. Mommy, hold my hands. I look at you, mama, and I'm saying, just leave the children to play. That's all right. If they shout, those ones are children. Let them play. They are receiving something as they are all playing. I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. You. Out of him. Now. Mama, I lay my hands on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. What do you want God to do for you? Sir, I want God to give me a child. To give you what? A child. A child? Yes, sir. My God. Your child? I am, I'm baroness. Mm. Mm. Ah. My God. 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 Mama, 
How many years? Ah, uh, I cannot say, sir. Go ahead. How many years? There's a reason I'm asking you. Ah, uh, it's long. Can you remember? Since I was born, I have never given birth. Uh, Since you were born? Yes, You are sir. married? Yes, sir. You've not given birth. How many years have you been married? Uh-huh. Like 20, 25, 25 years. I prophesy to someone here from the depth of my heart in the name of the God who sent me I say it I prophesy from this woman has touched the core of my spirit in the name that is above all names I place a demand on my office not my fate my office not my fate my office not my fate and i pray in the name of jesus anyone under any cause whoever placed that cause must die i say it again whoever placed any cause whoever placed any cause i command the ground to open and swallow that person i say it again whoever placed any cause Against anyone, shake it, 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 a racket, it, it, baroko to pass it, it, a brota sata, barete, it, 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 whoever placed any curse on anyone, may the earth open and swallow that person. Mama, where is your husband? He's not here. 25 years. You will think, me, I thought that what this was one of her children. Mama, lay your hands on your stomach. Where is your husband? Not here, sir. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm not asking you whether you have faith. Look at me. Look at my eyes. If you believe I am sent from God, in the name that is above all names, carry your child. Carry your child. Carry your child. Carry your child. Go and return with a testimony. Mama, hold my hands. I take away sickness from your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for two of you. Hold your hands. Please lift it. Let's hurry up. As I lay my hands on both of you, the grace for supernatural favor, I release it upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to hurry up. Please bring out your prayer request. Pass them to the ushers. While you are doing that, all those who are trusting God for healing. Now is your time. Please come out quickly. I want us to be very, very fast. Don't injure the ones who are already here. It's going to be very, very fast. Now all those outside, listen. Those in the second and third overflow. Bring that girl. Those in the second and the third overflow, that means the overflow by the roadside, they can come in. But those in this first overflow, please stand outside. Those in this first overflow, you can go outside so that we'll save time. So that we'll save time. Let me pray for these people. Promise, come. Uh, Benga, come. Kenny, come. Um, Michael, come. Where's Pastor Femi? Come. I will lay hands on you people. You go and lay hands on those outside please make sure that the people are healed we are not playing games this is not just formality please come out bring the lady out release her now in the name of jesus i command you spirit it's time for you to go right now in the name of jesus amen let me pray for these gentlemen when i pray for them they are going to go outside don't look at them look at the anointing that is upon them in the name of jesus that grace the anointing that grace that grace that anointing that grace that anointing that grace that anointing please you go just pray for the people outside and jimmy please come you join me we'll pray for those here now listen we're going to be very fast
please if we don't ask you what is wrong with you you don't have to say it now let me do something please if you are elderly here make your way to the front please if you are elderly make your way to the front our mothers our fathers so that i can just lay my hands on them and then they can go back please i please, some of you that are coming are not elderly please go back if you are elderly elderly is very clear if you are elderly we know elderly means you have a grown-up child please please let's save ourselves any embarrassment hallelujah worship team you will lead us through a series of powerful worship now if there are your loved ones who have not sent their request please let them do it very fast because i want us to pray here now make sure you drop your request everyone under the sound of my voice father i pray for these ones as i pray for you i don't know what the situation is but i'm placing a demand by the god of heaven inside and outside that there will be miracles in the name of jesus christ amen and amen heal the sick oh god and let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ mama please hold my hand in the name of jesus you're the god of wonders amazing god you're the god of miracles amazing as i pray for you go back to your seat you're the god of wonders Amazing Ow. God, Between you're now, the God of miracles. I release miracles. your destiny. I release. Amazing God, say you're the God of wonders. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing God, you're the God of wonders. Hey. Name of Jesus. Amazing hey. God. You're the God of miracles. Amen. You're the God, say, you're the God of wonder. As they pray for you, just go back and Amazing check yourself. We don't God, have the time for testimonies You're now. the God of miracles. Amazing. You are God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. Amazing. You are God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, you are God, say, you're the God of wonder. Amazing. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing. Amazing. Out.
of wonders, amazing God, you're the God of miracles, amazing God, you're the God of wonders, amazing God, you're the God of miracles, hey, amazing do what the God says, you're the God of wonders, amazing God, yeah. God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You're the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey, your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. I say your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. God. Your name is Yahweh. I say your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. I say your name is Yahweh. God, your name is Yahweh. You're the God of wonders, amazing God. You're the God of miracles, amazing God. You're the God of wonders, amazing God. You are the God of miracles, amazing God. You are the God of wonders, amazing God. Rise up on your feet, please. Rise up on your feet, everyone. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that my request upon this altar must become my testimony. Say it again, I decree and declare, decree and declare that, my that my request upon this altar, upon this altar 
must become let her let her go free in the name of Jesus must become my testimony no matter how many I believe that God is able to turn them into testimonies now listen I want you to stretch your hands here don't ask God don't pray stretch your hands mention your request mention his testimony equivalent are you getting the point now there is barrenness here I receive my baby please you've heard the testimonies of people let me tell you this is a covenant you see happen it's not just that we do it it's something that God said are you getting what I'm saying now Please stretch your hand and begin to call the things that be not as though they were. And watch the God of wonders. Go ahead. I'm releasing my faith with you. Go ahead and pray. Those online, make sure that you follow us. We are praying on the request now. I don't care what your challenge is. I don't care from which part of the world you are streaming and following. I want you to know that the God of all flesh, we have a covenant of answered prayers in this place. And we are praying on your request. Father, give your people testimonies. Give them turnaround miracles. Release jobs, oh God. Release marriages, release children. Release ministries, release anointings and mantles and graces. Release revelation from the throne. Release prayer unction. Break habits, break things. That tie down the destinies of your people. The power that was Stretch your hands. It's an act of faith. Sheba parado to do brada da. Rekete kete kete parada da 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 da. Lord, let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles for your people. To you. We spread these things before you. We spread them before you. Look upon them, O oh God, with your grace and your mercy. Let them say for our miracles. Supernatural miracles. Release our faith in your power. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree done in the name of Jesus. Are not angels, ministry, spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive the ministration of these results and answers in the name of Jesus. It is done, Lord, exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or imagine. In the name of Jesus, we rejoice with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we decree. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Lift your hands, everyone. Hallelujah. Jesus, we believe in you. We believe in the word of prophecy. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. You've heard me say it again. This for me is the most powerful part of the service. I know it doesn't look like it. But this is where everybody gets to receive. So I want you, we're rounding up to shout a believing amen as I pray. Are you ready now? The kind of favor you have not seen, I pray for you. You receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of favor that will bring tears from your eyes. 
in the name of Jesus may it be your portion may it be your portion in October strange favor hallelujah help them hallelujah hallelujah help them I don't know what the devil has taken from you the Bible says if a thief be caught he will pay tenfold I command between now and miracle service October receive supernatural restoration receive supernatural restoration supernatural restoration supernatural restoration everything that comes close to you but your hand cannot touch it you see it you know it should be yours but your hand cannot touch it by faith i connect it to your hand i connect it to your hand by faith every man that says over his dead body for you to succeed may god answer their prayers You have been moving around in one place you try to move forward but you cannot make progress in october i command your destiny i command your spirit hear the word of the lord go forward go forward go forward go forward, go forward. in the name of jesus whoever has received an instruction to help you but has refused to obey i put their spirits under pressure i put their spirits under pressure they must respond to the word of the lord in the name of jesus the bible says and darius could not sleep he woke up the next day and says oh daniel has your God delivered you? I say it again. I don't know who must show up for you and has deliberately refused to frustrate you. Tonight, I put pressure upon their spirit. Everything that is alive grows. Therefore, whatever has refused to grow in your life, I command it to grow in October. hallelujah October has the number 10 and 10 means the end of one circle and the beginning of another circle I don't know what it is that has refused to end and I don't know what has refused to begin I end what must end and I begin what must begin I say it again I end what must end and I begin what must begin believe it believe it believe it that lady please i i say it again i end what must end and i begin what must begin anyone under the sound of my voice call jobless in the name of jesus between now and the next miracle service i don't know how it will happen but return with a miracle job Return with a miracle job. My God gives you a job. Anybody due for promotion and has not been attended to, I don't care who needs to attend to you, it's a human being. In the name of Jesus, may the God of all flesh compel them to respond. There is a cause that makes people poor there are principles people break 
but there are spirits that help people become poor anything called poverty around your vicinity in the name that is above all names this is the month you will rise above it this is the month you will rise above it hear me all the seeds you have been sowing all the tithes you have been tithing every foul prophet's offering that has refused to bring that harvest by prophecy the bible says a time will come when the reaper and the sower it says the reaper will overtake the sower i command that kind of miracle in your life now an answer to your giving speedily an answer to your giving speedily two more prayers the anointing it takes for the next level of your life for every level there is a grace there is an unction i pray for you the anointing that must land upon your head to grant you grace to rise receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now throughout this year your family members have not testified i force them to testify this month i force them to testify this month whatever has made you cry you have cried in the secret you have cried in the open and you have said lord why won't this thing work this month let it work this month by wisdom let it work by favor let it work by divine direction let it work god take second let it must work it must work by the anointing of the holy ghost it must work hallelujah these hands you are lifting whatever has stopped them from holding blessings i put an anointing upon them may they magnetize all kinds of blessings i put an anointing on your hand let it call blessings there is a kind of honor that god can put upon a man that can separate him from his equals in this month strange honor may it be yours strange honor may it be yours everything that has destroyed your prayer life you try to pray and you cannot pray this month you will pray more than all the months combined go take up a rata this month you will pray more than every month this week. an appetite for the word of god an appetite for the study of scripture receive it in the name of jesus i pray for every business here in the name of jesus although it is said this recession may this month bring your greatest harvest believe me as i pray for you may this month bring your greatest harvest may somebody see you and just like you i say it again may destiny help us see you and like you no strings attached may someone see your family and like your family listen i believe in the ministry of help many of us don't like it without the help of god you will die like a chicken there are men who are anointed and sent to come and help you when david was in adulam some people came and helped him i pray for you again your helper may he show up this month may they show up this month helping you to get jobs helping you to connect for marriage helping your business 
helping your family last prayer point some of you are moving but you are not moving fast enough God prophesied to you that by December some things should have happened you agreed with God at the beginning of this year that by December some of you agree with your husbands and wives and said this is what we agree but it has not happened if you keep quiet that's how December will finish but I agree with you there are still a few months left you are even saying God should do it by the end of December but may he do it by the end of October October will not pass till you carry your testimony I prophesy preservation upon you no accident no death and in one minute let's pray for Nigeria Our time is gone prophesy in one minute we are responsible citizens we pray for this nation Nigeria rise and fulfill your destiny Nigeria rise and recover all that was lost Nigeria rise in mighty victory Nigeria rise yes Nigeria rise Father, we agree with you in the name of Jesus that you will step into this nation and change everything. You founded this nation. This is your nation. Step in and give miracles in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Our time is gone, but I cannot end this without giving an opportunity. Keep standing, please. No moving around, please. Let's respect this. Very quickly, in one minute, there are people here. You have seen what God has done. And while you were standing watching all these miracles, the Lord began to speak to you and said, am I not worth having a relationship with? And you've been waiting for an altar call to come. There are some of you, you have a relationship with God, but for some reason, you have left God and derailed. Please, our time is gone. Young and old, especially for those of us who are outside, you are saying, man of God, please lead me back to the cross. I love Jesus with all my heart, and I want to start afresh wherever you are. Please, I want you to run and come out right now. I'm only going to count one to five. Don't wait for someone. God bless you. People are coming. Please clear the way for them. One. Two. Please, quickly, our time is gone. thank you so much for those of you who are out it's the beginning of a new season do not be ashamed of yourself there's nothing to be ashamed of it's like receiving an award lift up your right hand and say after me jesus i love you truly and with all my heart i declare right now please if you're joining them join them quickly and continue with this prayer jesus i believe in you i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that from today i'm a child of god holy spirit come and live in me make me a new person give me a testimony in the name of jesus I break the power of sin over your life. I decree and declare that you are free from today. I declare your sins forgiven. I declare that in the name that is above all names, you rise to a new dimension. Fresh hunger for the things of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. Now, please, I want you to follow the ushers. Two of you gentlemen, you didn't pray. The ushers will lead you to pray that prayer. Now, everyone, please follow the leading lady. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage.
for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.